Which of the following parts of a book would be the best place to look for further information on the book's topic? So this is a research skills question. There will only be four, count them, four uh, of these on your Praxis writing test. So if you encounter one of these, the first thing that I would urge you is to not stress out too much about it. There's not a lot of these. The second thing I have to say is that you can take what you already know about books and reading and research strategies and port them directly into answering these questions. So the question that's being asked here is, where does more information about a book's topic live beyond just the text of the book? Which isn't uh, even an option here. Let's take a look at the, the choices. A, in the preface. B, the table of contents. C, the glossary. D, the index. Or E, works cited. So let's go through these. What is a preface? A preface is an introduction to the topic at hand. That's probably not where we would look for further information. Cross that off. Table of contents. This is a place to look for information on the book's topic, but really I want to focus in on the word further, right? The way this question is written kind of presumes you've already read the first book. Let's call it book A. But really you want to find additional sources on that topic. You've already, you've already finished with this one. So it's less about what's in the book and more about where the book can lead you. Sources B, C, and D. You know, this might be a book, this might be a magazine. Source D might be a documentary series. There it is in a glowing little screen. So where will we get further information? So the table of contents tells us what's in the book. That's not going to help us. The glossary is a list of terms used throughout the book. That is indeed one place to get further information about stuff that's not in the main text of the book. This is a, usually an appendix that's at the end of the book, and it contains all those vocabulary words or industry-specific jargon. Like if I was reading about how to fly a plane, a lot of the specialized plane words would be in the back of the book, in the glossary. So that's a possibility. The index is kind of like a table of contents, but at the back of the book, right? It lists out where things are mentioned by subject. So that still pertains to what's already in the book. We're looking for further information. Works cited, choice E, refers to other works, right? It's the bibliography, literally a written list of books that informed and inspired the work that went into creating this book. So literally, other sources, things outside the book, a place to look for further information. So glossary was tempting, but I'm going to cross it off because work cited is where we would want to go. You know, if I read book A and it was about salamanders, but I wanted to learn about other kinds of amphibian, I would look in the work cited and I would see, well, what other things has this author read about? What do they recommend? And I would go on to read source B about frogs and source C about newts because I'm looking for further information on the book's topic. I'm not looking for something that's already inside the book.